Why I selected Play Posit. This is an easy to use resource that allows for the transformation of passive video content into dynamic, interactive learning experiences with embedded activities. My purpose for PlayPosit is to create dynamic, interactive learning videos that promote the learning process for all students and allow for teacher assessment. The intended audience for PlayPosit is students, and the ISTE standards covered are A to A, the use of innovative technology to support student achievement, and A to C, PlayPosit creates learner-centered activities that meet the diverse needs of all students. What you're going to notice on the left-hand side, the one that I recommend using is Educan. And even, and even if you were in the flipped classroom, I'm going to show you a new feature on how students would, would actually access this. So the Educan link is going to allow you to click on that, and it's going to give you a, a, a pop-up here. When the pop-up comes up, it may give you an option to approve because there's someone named Benjamin Levy who created uh, the interface. So just say approve to that. If you don't get the screen that you see in front of you right now, which is my Schoology group, then you can use your Google account to authenticate, and then you'll get to this screen here. Once you get in here, you're going to select the classrooms that you want to use, and I, I, I have the advanced Schoology selected already, and then we're going to get started. Now, So let's take a look at the bulbs, the video bulbs themselves. You have the option of, you have my bulbs, there are pre-made bulbs, and there are video channels that you can look at. Let's take a look at the pre-made bulbs. From here, you can do a search. You can look at what's popular by specific grade, by specific subject, and by um, standard aligned content or all content. So let's say that I want to look at uh, 9th through 12th grade, math that has standard is aligned. So any of these have already been created for you. So let's take a look at, uh, just for a moment, flip geometry. We're going to push play. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's me, Mr. Yanos. Welcome back to Flip Geometry. We're going to continue our conversation today of Unit 1, Geometry Basics. This is Lesson 3. It's just a short introduction to angles, just the different parts, different types. So let's get started. An angle is formed by two rays with a common endpoint. This Okay, as you can see right here, this video now stopped, and the students have to select all answers that apply to the question. And then once they do, um, I'm just going to click a couple and hit check, and it's going to tell me hmm, I was wrong, and I'm going to move forward. This common endpoint is called the vertex. The rays are called the sides. What I would like to point out here is, as you can see, these orange lines dictate the different stop points that this teacher has created where there are going to be questions for this video that the student is going to have to interact with and answer these questions. So if we go back, and I can say that I like this video, um, this pre-made bulb, um, I can click Use on it, but I'm going to take a look at the monitoring of <clears throat> what I had already done. So in period one, I have here the uh, Spanish exploration of the Americas. And I actually logged in out as a student and completed it. So I can see one student's completed it, no one is in progress, and one is remaining right now. I can look at the, I can click open here. And I can see these flags are like just a stop point where you're giving um, the students this may be something you want to write down in your notebook. This is a question. I can click on it and I can see 
what the question was and the student's answer. This is a short answer where you would have to grade this. So I can see that the student didn't even bother to answer this question and that may mean that I need to revisit with the student what is going on that they completely missed it. So you can see all the answers and then the students get to give um, feedback on the video. So the student rating on this video was 2 out of 5 and the problem was it just had big words in it. So that can give you some input as to whether this student is being successful with the content that you are um, presenting to them. So I'm going to go back to the dashboard for a moment. And let's go back to bulbs. And let's look at the video channels for a moment. You can choose all of these different video channels. Um, that are out there to create your own video on. So let's just say um, we want to look at math antics. There are plenty of videos that have already been created. But if you want to go and do your own, you go to design, you're going to put in the video URL or search the video channels. And again, I said I was going to go to Math Antics. Okay, I like this video. Special I have looked at it. I want to use it. So it's going to show me that there are pre made bulbs for this video, or I can just begin building interactions and questions on my own. So I'm going to click that I want to begin building interactions and questions on my own. And what's going to happen is you're going to let this video play to a certain point. And then you're going to click here and say add a question. Here are your options. Say we want multiple choice. Is an angle. And you're going to enter your answer here. 90. You can add, make multiple answers. You can also remove them. And you can randomize your answer order. So when you're done with that, you want to save it at 002. This is the place. Put it there. And of course, I haven't filled it all out. So I'm just going to close this right now. And there is a complete tutorial about how to do this as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this. Um, I think this is a, a very valuable tool to assist with learning at all levels. Um, you can assign different bulbs to different students. Um, there are just the choices are amazing that are out here. Um, they have a really good help link that you can click on with lots of different articles for knowledge base if you get stuck. So I'm back and I've put together using that video that you saw a, a bunch of questions that are in here and you'll notice that these orange lines represent the questions and as I go to each one you'll notice that I've, I've put in some free response 
some multiple choice, some fill in the blanks, and I've even put in a link to another uh, to another website. So let's take a look. Once you've constructed this and put this all together, you know we're finished. We're finished building this. You can see that we're able to assign it to these classrooms, and I I have it assign. I'm assigning this one to you for that day. It's there and I'm going to return to the library because it's been assigned. So now once we're there, the nice thing is it's, it's ready to go. It's been assigned to you. The next thing I need to do and what you need to know is I do have Bugs Bunny here. I'm logged in at, into this as Bugs Bunny. And when Bugs Bunny or you go in here, you're going to have a chance to take a look at what it looks like. The link now, which wasn't there before, is going to be there for students. By clicking on the Educanon, what you're going to get is you're going to get a option to approve and once they go in there because I'm going in as a student it's looking into the data here and it can see that Bugs Bunny is part of two classes within Schoology and two classes that I've selected within Educanon and here is the advanced Schoology here you can see I have two things here the universe the phases of the moon is here ready for them to look at and it's going to go through and they're going to take a look at this and they're going to take this test and I'll just give you show you briefly and so you don't have to to hear this it's going to go through and it's going to go to each particular question and stop and it will record the answers for them so this is how they would get in there The Monitoring tab gives you a question-by-question -question visualization of your student's performance. Select your period or class, then select the lesson for which you want to see data. As Harvey completes the questions, this page is updated in real time, allowing you to identify and even remediate student misconceptions in the moment. Harvey just answered C, which as you can tell from the color coding was the incorrect response. Now we're going to pull open a lesson with many student responses. Notice that you can sort each question alphabetically to visualize common student misconceptions. As well, it is easy to delve into each student's performance. For instance, we can see here that Harry Truman had some difficulty with this lesson, getting 4 out of 5 questions incorrect.